So if you're in the market for buying new prescription eyeglasses, a major part of that is buying the lenses for your glasses. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the advantages of different lens options that are out there. So whether you are buying new prescription lenses from an in-store optical or glasses shop, or if you are buying your prescription glasses online, you will know exactly what it is you will be investing in. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up? This is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show. And on this channel, we do a lot of educational content around different eye diseases, treatments, as well as helping you find the best vision products so that you can see your very best. So if you're new to the channel and you like learning about that sort of stuff, then consider hitting the subscribe button down below and turning the bell on so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Now this video is part two of a series helping you find the best eyeglasses for you. Starting with finding the best glasses frames to finding the best lenses, all the way into finding the best type of lens treatments, different coatings, things like that. So if you wanna make sure you don't miss anything in that series, click the link in the top of the video description so you can find that full playlist. Now first we're gonna go over different lens design options so you know what the lenses are gonna be used for. Then we'll go over different lens materials as well as sharing some tips for people with high prescriptions and some other considerations. The lens design options that you'll usually hear about First are single vision distance lenses. Then you may hear of near vision or reading glasses, depending on your prescription. It could be also used for computer glasses. Then you have what are called bifocals or sometimes trifocal glasses for people who need distance and near simultaneously. And then you can have progressive lenses. And depending on your country, you may know them as varifocal lenses. Single vision distance lenses are pretty straightforward and are the standard glasses lens to help people see in the distance very well. So whether you are someone with farsightedness, nearsightedness, or have astigmatism, these are probably the lenses that you're looking for. If your glasses prescription also has an ad on there, short for additional lenses, this is meant more for someone who needs something like a bifocal prescription, a trifocal, or a progressive lens. Now, single vision lenses can also be made just for reading up close or being on something like a computer. And we call those near vision lenses or something like reading glasses or computer glasses. Bifocal glasses are the lenses that have that extra line going through the middle of the lens. That's essentially an additional magnifying lens that's attached on top of your distance vision prescription. That way you can see in the distance and look through the magnifying lens and see things up close. For some people who need more than just a distance and a reading prescription, but want to be able to see that intermediate zone as well, there is also a trifocal option that has an extra line on there, so you have three levels. But not everybody likes these two different designs for bifocals or trifocals because that line makes them either look older or the line gets in the way of their vision. And so most people nowadays will end up reaching for something called a progressive lens or a varifocal lens. Progressive or varifocal lenses are eyeglasses lenses like a bifocal or a trifocal, but instead of just having like two or three segments, it's like having 25 segments where the lenses are all blended together. That's why a lot of people will call them no line bifocals. Because again, you cannot see the line on the lenses. Even the glasses I'm wearing right now have a very slight reading prescription at the bottom, but it's all blended together and you can't tell. But these lenses are often ideal because they not just let you see in the distance and up close, but they give you many different levels of range for reading things like on a computer, a dashboard, and other things. Now there is a lot to be said about progressive lenses. One brand of lens is not the same as another and they give you completely different visual experiences. And we do have a video coming out soon on progressives, so watch out for that one. But now that we've gone over different lens design options, let's now go over different lens materials because there are some lens materials that have better advantages over others. And because there are many different options, and they can get a little confusing if you're not in this optical world, a lot of glasses shops, like the one we're at here, as well as a lot of online glasses websites, they'll have the lenses broken down into what are called lens packages, breaking down from more affordable, cheaper lens options, all the way up to premium lens options, which you will see better out of and have a better visual experience. But they're usually more costly. The basic thing that you need to know about glasses lenses is this. The most standard glasses lens that is used these days is in fact a plastic called CR39. It is often referred to as a basic lens or a standard lens, or also known as a index 1.5 lens. 
CR39 is a great lens material. It has excellent optical quality, it is light, and it is very affordable. And for most companies, this is just the standard lens that they are using, but then they offer upgraded materials from the CR39 lens. And most often, the lens materials that you'll have options to include what are called polycarbonate, trivex, and what are called high index lenses. Polycarbonate lenses, or polycarb lenses, are a soft plastic type of material. Now, because of the way they're made with glasses lenses, they are not technically shatter proof, but they are more shatter resistant, which is usually recommended for somebody who is in like a construction job, high risk for any sort of eye injury, or for children who are just more prone to accidents and breaking their glasses, because we don't want the lenses to shatter, and then you get the shards of glass or hard plastic into the eye. Polycarb lenses also offer an innate UV light protection of about 99 to about 100% protection from sunlight. And they also are usually thinner and lighter than CR39 plastic. However, polycarbonate does have a rather low abbey value, which means that they'll have more aberrations looking from the sides of the lenses. So if you have a really high prescription and you look off to the side of a polycarb lens, you might see these color distortions, such as yellow or blue kind of fading off to the distance. Most people don't notice those sort of color distortions, but I have had a few people on this channel ask about that, so I just wanted to shed some light on the subject. The only other thing about polycarbonate lenses that you should watch out for is that even though they are more shatter resistant, they are a softer plastic and so they are usually easier to scratch. So if you're getting a polycarbonate lens, highly recommend you get some sort of anti-scratch coating put on those lenses. And then we have a lens called Trivex. Now Trivex is a registered trademarked material that is similar to polycarbonate in that it is about 10 times stronger or impact resistant than a standard CR39 lens. It does have some advantages over polycarbonate in that it is lighter and has better optical quality than polycarb and it has less aberrations than the polycarbonate lens. So I personally like to think of it as an upgraded kind of better version of polycarbonate. Plus a fun fact is that when you're grinding and making these lenses for glasses, Trivex lenses smell bad. So if you want to punish the person who is making your glasses lenses, go ahead and order Trivex lenses. Now high index lenses refers to the lens's ability to refract light, meaning that if you have a higher index, such as a 1.69 lens or a 1.74 lens, you need less lens material to get the same effect. And that makes your lenses thinner and lighter. And a huge pro tip here is that if you have a high glasses prescription, such as like a minus two or higher for nearsightedness, then getting something like a high index, again, it's gonna make your glasses lenses thinner and lighter, and you won't see so much of the lens sticking up off the side of the glasses. However, high index lenses do also have more reflections coming off the surface of the lens. So I highly recommend that you end up investing in the best anti-reflective for those lenses that you can get. So the big question today that I wanna pass off to you is which one of these glasses lenses do you think would be best for you and your prescription? Let me know in the comment section. In addition to all of these lens options, you may also want to consider getting special lenses such as photochromic lenses. Those are eyeglasses that are clear indoors, but when you head outside, they turn into sunglasses. The Transitions brand of these lenses are probably the most famous that are out there, and I have done a review over some of their new technology if you want to check that out. But now that you know more about the different lens technology and different lens options that are out there, now we want to find the best anti-reflective or other special features to your glasses, such as anti-scratch and anti-static, all those things. So to learn more about those different lens options and features, check out the next video in our playlist by clicking or tapping the screen up over here to the side. Or if you want to learn just something else cool about the eyes, different eye diseases, their treatments, go ahead and click or tap the screen down over here. Thanks so much for watching. Keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon.